Hi, this is Marla from Accommodating Table. AccommodatingTable.com is a truly innovative menu planning website which allows your guests to feel special since you are running each of their individual food profiles against a delicious bank of recipes to come up with the perfect meal that everyone will enjoy and to which no one is allergic. So today in front of me I have some of the bounty that I picked up yesterday at my local organic farm. This is a fabulous way to get fresh fruits and vegetables during the year, but when those vegetables start to come, they really start to come, and you've got lots to have to deal with. So um, I'm also going on vacation tomorrow, which makes it a little bit more difficult for me to be able to preserve everything, and I hate to waste food. We are gonna talk today about some things that you can do uh, with raw vegetables uh, and some things that you'll need to blanch before you store them. I'm not a canner as my mother and grandmother were so we're going to be freezing things today and some things you can freeze uh, raw. Uh, I am particularly sensitive to the acid and enzymes in onion so I just cut my onion and I uh, freeze it in a freezer bag. I roll it kind of like a sushi roll or a little cigar and I'm of a firm belief that you cry once and eat twice or maybe two or three times. These are great in frittatas, omelets, uh, as a base for soup. You can do whatever you would ordinarily do with chopped onion. I do the same thing with garlic. And isn't it fun how garlic comes from the farm? I just love it. Uh, you, I add to these bags. So if I have a garlic, half of a garlic clove I've not used, then I'll just put that back, pop this in the freezer, and I can take uh, about a, a teaspoonful or whatever I need at any time that I'm going to be using it. So um, I do the same thing with bell pepper. So you just smash your bell pepper down with your hand, and you can julienne this. And then you pop this into a freezer bag, hopefully labeled bell pepper. And again, you can do the same thing. You just pop this into the freezer, make sure that you get all of the air out of it, do a little sushi roll, and you've got bell peppers. So again, the things that I do raw are bell peppers, uh, onions, and garlic. But things that I need to blanch are things like tomatoes and potatoes. Uh, also spinach and this is a little trick so you see my pot on the stove there you can use one boiling pot of water don't make the mistake of having to drain everything out uh, the first thing that you want to do are tomatoes and this is a little tomato that I've uh, blanched for about five minutes you can tell when it's done because the skin will start to peel back from the potato and then you just pinch the skin and you can peel all of this off of the tomato in really easy fashion. When that is all done, you want to pop this into your freezer bag that is labeled tomatoes and freeze it. It's perfect for stews or soups or pasta sauce any time in the winter. The next thing that you want to do is um, spinach. Use the same water that you used from the tomatoes. Pop your spinach in there until uh, it blanches. It's going to reduce quite a bit. This was a half a bag of spinach uh, that I had left over and again pop that into the freezer. Uh, and finally, potatoes. You can use uh, raw garlic cloves with your potatoes. These are new potatoes, so they're going to boil up in about 25 minutes. Pop your garlic in there with them. When you're all done, let those cool. Pop them into a gallon bag and then you can make the garlicky mashed potatoes recipe from Accommodating Table and just uh, thaw those out, add the cream and butter and salt and pepper and you've got perfect mashed potatoes. This is Marla from Accommodating Table. Until next time.